can. Wait. She's just like the one Uncle Mike used to have. Yes, Donnie. You like boats, Miss Ann? No. Well, yes, some of them, Donnie. It's Ann Freeman, Miss McKay. No, oh, yes, Ann. Been expecting you. Come in. Uh, this is Donnie Mitchell. Donnie, this is Miss McKay. How do, ma'am? Well, come in, come in. Can't stand out there all day. How old are you, Donnie? Going on 13. Pretty small for your age, aren't you? No. Uh, I have here the reports of the places he's lived lately. After his father was drowned at sea, he lived with his next of kin, an uncle, Captain My Mitchell, of Port Clyde. Captain Mitchell was lost in the big storm of March three years ago. Since then, he's been a ward of the state. Quite a record he's made for himself. Run away three times. Why? Well, I think I can explain. Elkins Farm, Waldo County, eight months. What'd you run away for? Didn't like the farm. Mm-hmm. Furnished Emanuel Santos, storekeeper, Waterville, six months, ran away. Why? Didn't like him neither? No. Maybe he won't like it here. Oh, I think he will. It's different. Let him answer it for himself. Well? I don't know. Guess I will. Will what? Run away? No. No, ma'am. Can you cut wood? Yes, ma'am. He's a good boy, Mrs. McKay. He wants to learn, and he needs your guidance. Want to see your room, Donnie? Yes, ma'am. Up there. Door on the right, the top of the stairs. Understood. I'm only taking the boy on probation. If he's a good boy, I'll keep him. If not, back he goes. Well, I can't Ma help it if he's a state kid and an orphan. All I want is someone to do the chores. Well, Mrs. McKay, I know you're going to like him. He's a fine boy. What oh. you doing up there? Snooping? One thing I can't abide is eavesdropping. Want to hear something? Come down and listen. I don't think you really meant to eavesdrop, Mrs. McKay. You see, He's had sort of a rough time. He wouldn't tell us, but we've had information that the Santos, the Portuguese storekeeper in Waterville, whom Donnie was apprenticed to, treated him badly. Our board's investigating it now. Poor little devil. That's why I brought him to you. You've raised kids of your own. Not gonna raise any more. Got no affection left to pour out on anybody. Sure. As far as I'm concerned, it's just a boy to do the chores. Of course. Say hello to your ma. I haven't seen her lately. I will. Bye. You like your room? Yes, ma'am. Come on down. Let's have a look at you. Don't 
Now look, Dottie, we're not going to get anywhere acting like a couple of strange dogs. I ain't no dog. Nobody said you were. You're acting like I was going to chain you up. Nobody's trying to put anything over on you. Just you do your work around here, and I'll do my part by you. And anything you don't like, say so, because I will. Understand? Yes, ma'am. I to jump here first minute you got here. And get yourself washed up and we'll have some supper. Okay. Lovely, Mom. I hate to think of you in a furnished room in Belcourt. It's not bad. If you like furnished rooms. You know, next. Hi, Mr. Cat! Hold on, suck it! There's a fight for money. Cheer up, dear. It'll turn out all right. Thanks, Mom. I'll try to be over on Saturday. Anne! Anne Freeman! Good morning, Mrs. Thatcher. Are you going by the dock? Oh, yes, Miss Thatcher, get in. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Oh. Yes, I guess. What'd you say, Anne? Oh, I haven't slept all night. It's Tom. I'm nearly crazy. He's more than a day overdue now. And that squall night for last. Oh, I tell you. I... Now, Mrs. Thatcher, you shouldn't cross the bridge before you get to it. It's not as bad as you think. Probably everything's all right. They go up in their boats and they say they'll be back. And you wait, and you watch. There ain't a woman in this town that ain't lost a husband, a boy, or someone. Oh, Mr. Thatcher's an experienced lobsterman. And it takes more than a little blow to bother a lobster boat. Oh, yes, but I... Now, your husband's a smart seaman. Maybe he ran out the squall and put into Nova Scotia. Dad used to do that. A lot of them do, you know. I suppose. Yes, and I guess... Yes, I never thought of that. I'm sorry, Anne. I got so upset. You'll be in, Mrs. Thatcher. You'll see. Thank you, Anne. Thank you so much. Joe Sanger. Joe Sanger. There's your farm magazine. Oh, there. thanks. Joe Sanger. Joe Sanger. Mr. Joe Sanger. Joe Sanger, Esquire. That's me, too. At least I got a bill. Holy smoke, who I got for a partner anyway? Me? Who do you think? Hey, Hart, look at this. I raised my family on walnuts, say Leroy Helton. Oh, nuts, huh? No, walnuts. Something, huh? Swell. Thought you were a turkey man, Joe. Nah, turkeys you gotta feed. These things, they just drop off and you're rich. Well, just like that, huh? A dime in every walnut? Yeah, sure. No, no, these things you got... These... I hate to disturb a millionaire, Joe, but we still gotta eat. Huh? The groceries. Oh, sure, I almost forget. I get them. I'll see you down at the dock, Joe. I got a few things to do. Okay. Go on. Oh, Anne. Hello, Maud. Well. Wait a minute. 
Breaking an engagement's not going to start a feud, is it? Well, I don't see why it should. Still friends? Still friends, Hart. And you still got that date tonight, huh? Date? Oh, this is Friday, remember? We're going to dinner? Oh, no, Hart. Uh, I have to work tomorrow. Did you change your job? Well, no, why? Well, nothing, only when you made the date originally, you had to work just the same. All right. We've got a date. But just as friends, nothing more. Promise? Absolutely. Talk about nothing but the weather. And local gossip. Give you my word. I'll be around about 7 o'clock. That ring. Odd. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that, really. Since the fellow won't take it back, I guess I'm stuck with it. Unless I find somebody else. Oh. What? Nothing. You haven't changed your mind, have you? Have you changed yours? You know I wouldn't be any good with a job in town. I'm just a lobsterman. I'll never be anything else. You know that. Todd, you could be anything you want. All right, Anne. I'll do it. What? I'll take that job in Bangor. It might be a little rough for a while, but I think we can work it out, don't you? No, Hod. It wouldn't work. And it was unfair of me to ever ask you. Yeah. One minute you say one thing, and I try to do what you want me to I do, and then you... I'm sorry, Hod, but you wouldn't be happy. And after a while, I guess I wouldn't be happy either. Now, look, Ann, don't talk like that. We have each other. We could work anything out that way. No, Hart. Marriage is something that has to last. It's... Look, I love you, Anne. And you love me. Don't you? You know you do. Hart, this isn't fair. It's hard for you to stay. Hart, you'll have to give me a chance to think. Tough luck. I knew someone scared him. Don't hang it on me. They were just feeding out. It's a pretty good job of hunting, though. Maybe they'll come back. Fat lot of good at doing. These are the only shows I had. Aren't you the new fellow up at Mary McKay's? Yeah. A state kid, an orphan. I'm Hod Stillwell. How'd you get over here? Rowed out in a skiff. You on this island? Yeah. Well, that's OK, though. You can come over any time. How'd you learn to handle a gun like that? Uncle Mai taught me. He used to take me gunning. Uncle Mai? 
That wouldn't be Captain My Mitchell used to be down at Port Clyde, would it? What's it to you? Nothing. I just mentioned it. My name's Mitchell, too. Donnie Mitchell. Well, I thought there might be a connection. You know, I went to the banks a couple of seasons with Captain Mai. You did? Yeah. Oh, some years ago. I knew your pa, too. Say, he was a pretty good man with a gun, wasn't he? Mm. Uncle Mai said he was one of the finest shots in the county. Tried to tell old Farmer Elkins that, but... I guess nobody recollect my pa no more. Now, where did you get an idea like that? There are plenty of people around here who remember your pa. You want to talk to my partner, Joe Sanger? He and your pa were shipmates a couple of years. Sanger? He's a Portuguese, ain't he? Yeah, why? Right. I don't like Portuguese. Ah, oh, now listen, son. Your pa or your uncle my either. I wouldn't let anybody tell him about a fellow. They always went and found out for themselves. Yeah. Well, I gotta be gone. Got some chores to do. Time you get back to the mainland, it's gonna be kind of late for chores, isn't it? The chores can wait. I ain't no horse. Hey, look here. I got a couple of nice birds here. You can use them. See? What do you want from? Oh, nothing. I just thought maybe Mrs. McKay wouldn't worry so much about the chores if... Well, a couple of nice birds, or a couple of nice birds. Yeah. Well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> again sometime. We'll talk about your boy and your Uncle Mai. Goodness, you've come. Well, I wasn't in the office when your message came. But I got here as fast as I could. What's the trouble? Trouble? It's Donnie. I haven't seen hide in a hair of him since this morning. And here it is, an hour past supper time. Well, didn't he say anything oh, or do I anything? Oh, I scolded him for dilly dallying with the wood this morning. Then when I went out to call him for dinner, there was the saw broke clean and two and him gone. You don't suppose something's happened? Oh, suppose, suppose. I supposed everything. When he didn't come in for dinner, I thought sure he'd be in by supper. I don't know what to do. That skiff by our lobster docks? Yeah. Must have drifted out from the mainland with the tide. Pick it up with a gap, Joe. Pick it up after we unload. There's two lobster and it's still alive. We'll take it into the mainland first time we go in and find out who it belongs to. Maria, what we catch? Johnny! Yeah, John, he's one of the way this time. Oh, it's a good thing those lobsters are plugged. We 
Pedro hauled you out in pieces. What were you doing in there? I only want a couple of lobsters. Oh, I see. Look, Tony, in this country, lobster's a man's living. You don't rob his pots, and you don't rob his lobster car. I didn't know it was yours. That only makes it worse. A man looks out for his enemies, but he's friends. A man doing that would be sent to jail if you were lucky. A kid like you would be sent to reform school. What would your Uncle Mai have done if he'd caught you doing this? He'd have wailed tarnation out of me, I guess. That's what you need, a good thrashing. You can whip me if you want. Oh, I wouldn't lay a hand on you. But I'm going to do the next best thing. Get on the boat. Go on, get aboard, go on! <laughs> 